Hey, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Stripe Buy Now button on your website. It's something that's very, very uh, useful and handy in terms of just getting people onto your website and immediately they're able to pay using this Buy Now button rather than going through a whole checkout process. Uh, it's very useful for simple products or digital products, so let's get started. Okay, so as I said in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add in it stripe buttons directly into your homepage of your, web your website or any page for that matter. You can see here I have my website and when you click on this button right here it brings up a check a stri stripe checkout directly from that button. So there's no long funnel, you don't need to go in and add things to your cart um, and then go through a checkout with uh, you know loads of different fields that aren't really necessary. You can just bring up a simple little checkout and it's very very handy for anybody who uh, just has one single product on their website, you know, so if you're just selling an ebook or a course like me um, or something like that, or even a physical product where your website is just based around one product, it's really, really helpful to have this such a direct checkout on your website. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. And then in my other video, I'm going to show you how to actually edit, uh, edit it with CSS. Um, to make it look kind of nicer, but I'll put the link for that in the description. For now, I'm just going to show you how to make it and embed it onto your um, onto your actual website. So if you go to your Stripe dashboard, you can actually go over to here and click on accept your first payment. And it'll bring you to kind of an FAQ page um, and kind of give you a little guide about, as it says, a quick start. So you have two options here. You can do a, a very simple kind of button, but the only thing is, um, you know, it's it's easier because you don't need to actually edit it. It will just put this button directly onto your website. So pay with card is what it'll say. It'll look like this and you won't be able to customize it. It'll just look like this. So if you're happy enough with that, you can just copy this this form or this um, code right here. Just copy it and you can just paste it directly into your website. So I'm using WP Bakery, which is why it kind of looks a bit different, but it looks like this. Um, but you can click on plus and then click on raw HTML and add in a bit of HTML into your website. And you can just paste that code directly into the website then and that will bring up a little uh, pay with card button. And it's very simple if you don't have any coding experience or if you don't have any, um, you know, if you don't mind it, it, it that, that that's what it says. If you don't want to change what it says on it, if you don't want to change what it looks like, then that's perfect. And you have your, your button installed. You can see it here. But if you want to do something a bit more complex, then you need to go to uh, just check out here. And then you can go down and you can find you can see here um integrating checkout so the simple which is what we already use and you can go to custom over here and you can see it's a longer form um but you can do a lot more with it so i'm just going to copy this again so copy and we're going to paste it into here so just paste it in here same as you did with the other one and i'm going to show you how to edit different fields in it so that you can make it look the way you want it so paste it in there save changes and then we're going to preview it and you'll see it will be very, very basic at the start. Now, what's helpful about this um, check the more custom one is you can actually add in fields as well. So you can see here you can add in different fields. For example, you can add in their um, their billing address and whatnot. So if you actually need to to get an address of them, you can add that in. You can add in their zip code and loads of different things like that, um, which is you know helpful if you're doing a more uh, complex checkout. So. I'm going to go back to my page and I'm going to show you at the moment you can see it says purchase and it just is very very simple um so we'll just x away from this first one because we're not going to need it um and I'm going to focus on editing this one so first thing you want to do is you can go in here and you can change what it says on your button so you can see you have your button id um here custom button and then it says in between those those uh two tags it says purchase so I'm going to say take the course because mine is a course you can Set it to say whatever you want, really. Um, take the course. So that is your um, that is your label setup. Next thing you want to do is you want to add in a class because that would allow you to actually edit this button with CSS. So I'm going to say class equals and then, and we're going to say let's say button. Uh, checkout button. We'll just say checkout. Okay, so. That's perfect, that's your class in and your label in. Next thing you can do then is you can go down here, I'm gonna pull this down so we can see a bit more. And you can see um, this is where you put in your image. So if you actually, uh, when you click on this button here, you'll notice when this comes up, my logo is in this little, um, this little circle. If not, it'll be something like a house. Like if I click on this one, 
it'll be just a uh, some sort of a no it's actually not working but um basically the difference is that it'll actually show up your image of your logo so if you want to upload even the, the, the logo you've uploaded for your menu or whatever on your website if you want to just get that image from your, from your media library so you can go to your media library click on that image and just get the link for that image so i'll show you how to do that so if you actually go down um you can find your your logo so let's find it here it is. So you can click on this logo and it'll actually give you a link over here. So you can copy this link and then you can put it directly in here where it says image in between these two um, quotation marks. So put it in there and that will actually bring up your, um, that will actually bring up your, your logo in the checkout. Uh, you have your key so you can put in your own uh, live Stripe key in here so people will be able to pay um, and it's linked to your to your account on Stripe. Locale is auto so that's like where they're based and then you can leave the rest of it alone. Then you have name so if you go back here and if we click on this again uh, you'll see that the name here is Win at WordPress so that is the name of your company and it's what's going to show up right there. So uh, you can change this name in here to win at WordPress. Description then is a description of what exactly they're buying. So you can see on my checkout, I have complete WordPress course. So you can change that to a description of whatever it is they're buying. Currency is euro and then amount. This is the amount in cents. So if uh, if it was five dollars or five euros, you would put in 500 cents in here. If it's 50, you'd put in, uh, you know, 5,000 and so on. So that's the amount and that is basically it. Um, your button now, if you click save changes, it'll actually be in. It'll look like um, it'll look like this, but it'll work. And when you click on it, uh, it'll look more like this because it'll actually show up your, you know, your name and your your description and the right uh, amount and everything. And then you have your your logo. So that's how to actually just install the button. As I say, it won't exactly look like this yet. But if you do know a bit of CSS, you can edit it with CSS using your class. Uh, but I'm going to show you in my other video, I'm just going to show you the CSS that I use to make it look like this. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. But for now, you are you know how to install this simple button or else a more custom button. So I hope this helps, guys, and I hope it helps you to, um, you know, bring your website on and get people through the funnel quicker. So thanks very much, guys. So there you have it. I hope you were able to set up this uh, Stripe Buy Now button on your website. As I said, you don't have to use it on your homepage, you can use it on any page you want. Simply embed that code and it'll come up wherever you want. Um, and it's a really, really useful tool to have on your website. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. That would really, really mean a lot. It would really help me to continue to grow this channel and to continue to help you with my best content. Let me know in the comments if there's anything at all that I can help you with to do with WooCommerce, WordPress, Anything like that, I'll be more than happy to make a video for you and help you out. Um, thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.